think I go, I'm going to uh, I'm going to have to reconsider the use of uh, automobiles in between uh, the United States and Europe. And the reason is I own a Fiat and I'm driving a Fiat. Now the concept is completely different in between the uh, car that I'm driving in the United States and this one. This one is a very light, very small, what they call a Piccolino, very small Fiat. And it's a manual transmission. And uh, how, how can I say, it's, uh, it's a diesel engine, high torque, uh, low, low horsepower, and very small wheels, very bouncy, very, uh, how can I say, noisy if you will. Uh, it has a lot of features that I do not like about it at all, but it's, it's just it's growing on me. This thing is actually really fun to drive and has something that my car does not have. And it is a very important thing, is that it is comfortable. This little car is comfortable. I mean, I sleep in it, I drive, I eat in it. I mean. I can live in this car. You have plenty of room uh, to put your feet. Uh, the seat will, will roll back all the way to the rear. Will lean back, if, if, if almost flat. It has a, a very high, high rest on it. Uh, it feels like a pillow. I mean, this, this car is comfortable. Now, uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, Dodge, uh, Challenger that I have has uh, more power, of course, more power, faster, heavier, and it feels like a tank when you drive it. It feels safe. This thing does not feel safe. Uh, it bounces uh, quite a lot on bad roads and so on, but it is a very comfortable, very efficient. It's extremely efficient. They are. Um, the car is uh, I think I'm getting like uh, I mean a high mileage on on fuel now check this out it is a manual transmission uh, I can put all throw all kind of stuff out there of course I every time I feel I empty the uh, the bottles that I have Right now I have uh, Water of Vinci, or Water of Vinci, I think it's called. And it reminds me of uh, Mari Carmen, my uh, friend uh, from Spain. Uh, she passed away and she drink that, that Water of the Vinci that she's called it. And I, I cannot stand it. I mean, I just don't like it, but I just grab it to drink it. And um, uh, the car has, you know details like this one right here the this the, the sun visor is so small that it's basically useless I mean this thing is just like useless it has a a, 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 a a sunroof on it and you can actually open it it feels like a, a convertible car and the controls the buttons are very close to you you know you can reach them and play with the uh, with the radio, it has navigation in it. Uh, I haven't used the navigation because my phone, I'm used to my phone and uh, I don't want to uh, get lost. Um, it has uh, big buttons that you can, you know, change your uh, environmental in the inside. But this is this is the best part. I mean, it's, it's, just, it's just roomy, it's just roomy uh, car, believe it or not. It's small, but you feel like you're in a bigger car. Anyhow, it feels bigger than my car. That is twice as heavy as this car. Now the seat, check the seat. The seat is, the design of the seat is like a bucket. It's very wide. And I think that is the problem with the uh, Challenger. The Challenger, the, um, uh, how can I say the, uh, the seats are a little too high 
on the uh, on the thighs you know so so basically your legs go numb on them I and mean, you sit on them for too long and your legs just go numb now on this car you can set the cruise control with, with the uh, how can I say with the twist on the uh, on the steering column I do not like that I really don't I don't know if you can see it you can set the speed right here like for example I'm coming up on the uh, on the 60 kilometer an hour zone so all I gotta do is just slow down to 60 turn and it will set but I'm keep confusing that low button with the other button and this button is the light so I keep turning the lights on and off and getting the two confused so I don't like that at all on this side they have another button and this button or this lever I guess you can call it you twist it and it will turn the uh, the windshield wipers on and off but overall I really like the car I mean if he if I, I, I might trade my car for this thing I mean this thing is actually very comfortable now I would love to have this in this little car right here with a bigger engine I mean this thing I think I have like 1.2 I mean it's like ridiculous small engine like like a motorcycle engine of course it's diesel so it has a lot of power but uh, it is comfortable and for the type of driving that, that I do out here it is it's an excellent car it's an excellent car I mean this Fiat the small 500 cc Fiat diesel engine uh, listen it's worth the money and it's very inexpensive actually the uh, the Challenger is about forty thousand dollars, and um, uncomfortable. It's just uncomfortable. So I'm I'm trying to continue to look for solutions for that for that seat, and I call a few people and they give me prices like uh, two thousand dollars to uh, change the seats, and um, so I'm thinking about it. I haven't figured it out yet. Uh, Sometimes I think about trading that car, but I do like the Challenger, the power it has, and 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 it's a good-looking car on my uh, my for my taste. I mean, for the type of car that I like, I like large cars. Um, uh, my favorite uh, automobile all times is a 1975 uh, uh, Cadillac Fleetwood. 1979 Cadillac. I like that kind of car, you know, large luxury cars. But uh, this one, this Fiat, hey, listen, it is a good car. I like it. Anyhow, uh, I suggest for you to when come to Europe and drive to get to get a car like this, to get a diesel engine car because it has a lot of torque and the Kia here is a uh, accelerate fast on those uh, small roads we're talking about from like 40 30 kilometers an hour to about 70 that's all you're going to be doing and unless you get on the road like this one that you do 90 or 110 <clears throat> and and that is uh, uh i think it's like very few these roads the long they run along the uh the peninsula you know the peninsula uh uh, Italica so get a small car get a small car the smallest you can get and diesel engine so you can have that torque and uh, I say to Fiat you may crop a United States car but uh, in the in, Europe, in the European continent you make an excellent small car so uh, who ride to Fiat in the uh, in the uh, European continent and Fiat, you sucks so with you coming about making seats and making accessory for the uh, for the Dodge line of uh, of, uh, of automobiles. And of course, you have uh, Ferrari. You know, you own Ferrari. So, so I think you got to put a little technology from Ferrari into um, into the Challenger and the Charger. I mean, that's what I think. Well, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, uh, I'm 
going back to uh, be the tourist. <laughs> we'll see you later. Bye.